Good afternoon. Welcome to another edition of Should We Care? Today, what are we going to care about? Well, here's my care. I want to discuss the Alberta Progressive Conservative Leadership Campaign and Gary Marr. All right, so we're going to get to that. It seems this is the year of the election. They're happening all over the place. Elections or leadership uh, campaigns. BC just finished one. Alberta's in the midst of one. Uh, Alberta's liberals just finished one. I mean, they're happening all over the place. Elections in Ontario. We had our federal elections. Uh, all in all, I mean, we've, we've had a lot of practice with elections and politics this year, and it's really getting rather dismal. Right now we have a uh, leadership convention here in Alberta for the ruling Progressive Conservative Party. Uh, they've been, they started off with six candidates. Uh, they've whittled it down to three following this weekend's vote. Uh, nobody was able to obtain 50%, so we're going to take another run at it again. Gary Marr, uh, Allison Redford, and Doug Horner have all advanced. So let's discuss those for a minute. Actually, I want to focus my discussion more on Gary Marr and polit politicians in general. Uh, I am uh, not a huge supporter of Gary Marr, uh, but then that's me, and I mean, we're all entitled to our own political affiliations. But uh, Mr. Marr, to me, is starting to uh, become a poster child for what politicians shouldn't be. Uh, here was a guy that was uh, bussing in. Uh, people to vote for him, selling the memberships on the bus. Uh, let's remember this is also the guy that was the Minister of Health with Ralph Klein and, and helped to dismantle the, the, the health care system here in Alberta. Uh, no progressive thinking there, let's just whack it away. Uh, there's also some allegations in the past of, of him awarding uh, untendered contracts to business associates in Red Deer. Uh, I have no idea to the validity of, validity of that, but those are some of the things you read about in the paper. So, step by step, and there seems to be a pattern here. We have Mr. Marr telling us that he didn't see anything wrong, uh, didn't feel he broke any rules uh, when it came to selling memberships to uh, persons in the buses that he was bringing in to vote for him at the leadership campaign. Uh, my understanding is the uh, uh, electoral laws uh, prohibit selling of uh, memberships within a certain distance of uh, a polling booth, uh, which he uh, didn't feel really applied to him. Uh, this is sounding very familiar uh, within the conservative movement and that we've just recently had an issue with our uh, federal politicians where the legislation requires uh, the farmers take a vote on the Canadian Wheat Board uh, and they did uh, of their own. Uh, the minister responsible for that is not going to recognize that vote because he's going to change the legislation so that they don't have to adhere to a vote and they can just go ahead and, and do away with the monopoly. You know, that's a separate issue, but at the same time, it's another example of politicians deciding they're going to change the rules halfway through something. And we're seeing more and more of that. And Mr. Marr is doing that as well. That not only frightens me, it pisses me off. Should we care? You're damn right we should care. One of the other issues that really peeves me with this is if you've read uh, the news story on CBC News World today, uh, you know, there's, there's been quite a few comments by people, and Albertans are strange people when uh, it comes to elections, but uh, one of the things that's fairly consistent through here is that $5 membership to vote. And there's been a lot of comments made in here that if you want to have input into our, who, who our premier is, then uh, buy your $5 membership and go and vote. Well, to me, that's a crock. In Canada, we don't vote for leaders. We vote for parties. And this, if you want to have input into your leader, into your premier or your prime minister, buy a membership and vote directly for them. That just perpetuates this whole 
idea that we elect leaders. We don't elect leaders. Parties elect leaders. I was just as content with my three dollars a vote on the federal basis going to the party I voted for, much more content with that than I am with the idea that people expect me to spend five bucks for a membership in a party I don't really care about. Uh, I'm not a party person so that I can then turn around and vote for the leader of the party under the auspice of having input into our, into our premier. That's crock. And yet, that's what we're being shoveled, people. So wake up and start paying attention. Should we care? You're damn right we should care. And you better start caring soon because your kids are going to pay for this. Here's what I care about. And I think anybody with common sense should be caring about this, too. We already have Stephen Harper distancing the federal government from health care. I don't know how many times I've heard him say now on the news that uh, health care is provincial jurisdiction, not federal. That's a crock. Healthcare is a shared responsibility as laid out in the Constitution Act. So this distance this distancing it from the feds is a crock. It's preparation for the 2014 negotiations. If you really want a health care like we're used to, or like we used to be used to, not we haven't really seen it in the last twenty years, but there's no reason why it can't come back uh, without it all going private. But if that's what, if you want a health care that you and your children are going to be able to access for the next 20, 30 years, the last person you want negotiating the new health accord for Alberta in 2014 with Harper, who doesn't really want it either, is Gary Marr. You know, so folks, pay attention here. I don't care if you buy a membership and go and vote for, uh, for somebody else or not. That's your call. Uh, I don't think we should have to vote. I think the where the voting should take place for a premier is at the election polls at when we have an election, not through party getting new leaders. You know, if that's the case, let's have a, an election. Let's have a complete election then. But start paying attention to what goes on. This guy is just dancing around us. Already he's saying, I mean, they had 60,000 party members took part in the vote, which is, oh, 37,000 less than voted in the last leadership race in 2006. Mars comment to this. What's he going to be doing? Uh, how did he put that? It was... Ooh, I got a kick out of this too. So I thought I'd, uh, I thought I had marked it. Oh yes, we are very, very close to doing the job, finishing the job, and winning. Mar said after the ballot Saturday. My job is very clear over the next two weeks. I've got to get out there and sell more memberships, and our team is doing that. You know what? It's not his job to sell memberships. It's his job. It's the premier's job or whoever to run this friggin' country, not be out there selling memberships. What are you interested in? The province of Alberta are your memberships. Should we care? You're damn right we care. Do people care? I haven't heard too many that care. I don't even know too many that are following this. Uh, but for the sake of your kids, you better start caring. That's me. That's it. It's just me. Just one man's opinion. Have a good day. It's a nice sunny day. We got couple more weeks before the next leadership vote. For God's sake, encourage people you know that uh, may be voting in it to use some common sense and don't put this guy into power. Thanks. Just one man's opinion. No harm intended. Thanks. Bye-bye.